If Wall Street is buying homes, should you be stacking silver instead? Good evening, folks, and welcome back to another episode of Silver Dad Knows. Remember, always live with no edits. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button now as you're going to like what I'm about to say. So just to start off this evening, and of course, this is Silver Dad Knows. This is a silver channel. I am showing to you 2600 bucks right here. Because the spot price as of this morning is uh, 26, 22, 26, 23 to be exact. I mean, well over $2,600. So right here in my hands, 2,600 buckaroos. I mean, what can $2,600 buy you? A really fancy AR. Um, maybe not the fanciest AR, but an AR and a shotgun. A bunch of PS5s. Um, a generator. I mean, it goes on and on what this can buy you but just out of curiosity this right here is actually a 2005 uh gold fill harmonic um, gold investors quickly point to the austrian fill harmonic when it comes to pieces that are not only beautiful but reliable um, of course you go to the uh, verse um, showcasing a pipe organ uh, this design is credited to uh, Thomas uh, Pessendorfer, and has appeared on the averse of every Philharmonic coin. Then you go to the reverse, which my personal favorite, um, presenting several classical. Uh, I'm so sorry. I was got that got that the other way around. I'm so sorry. Right now we're looking at the pipe organ. Now we're actually looking at the reverse, presenting several classical musical instruments, including four violins, a cello, Vienna horn, bassoon, and a harp. I'm so sorry about that, folks. And as again, I'm currently seeing this at around $2,600 right above spot. So, I mean, you have a piece of, uh, of gold right here and <clears throat> very, very nice. Just so you can see some more detail right there. Very, very, very attractive. And what's really nice about this is you touch silver uh, with your bare hands and it can cause some milk spots. You touch gold with your bare hands, that never occurs. And that just really shows the purity um, of gold in comparison to silver, of course. This, this is true God's money right here. And real quick, guys, before I continue, I want to give a quick shout out, and this is a comment from the other day. This is uh, Vincent Leon, 6334. Remember that saying, hard times create strong men, strong men create good times, and good times create weak men. We are in the first phase again. Mystery Babylon is us, and Babylon has fallen. Be wise and get your household uh, prepared for what's coming. Stacking is a necessity in these times and not just an investment um, or preservation. And absolutely, we are truly living in some very, very terrifying times. I was talking to one of my customers yesterday who works for NASA, and he was telling me that it's going to get to the point where our quality of life is going to degrade so much that people are going to want to be tapping into the metaverse. They're going to want to be tapping into their, their cell phones or their computers. Um, they're going to want to get into those that virtual reality, because the real life that they're living in, what we're seeing right now, it's going to be so miserable for them, so poor for them, that they're going to want to tap into something that's not even real, but they're going to go after that world. And it's it's very sad, but this is really what we're what we're heading into. Children don't don't climb trees anymore, but you'll definitely see them on a cell phone, um, and more notably. I've been keeping a close eye on what's happening behind the scenes with the big financial players like BlackRock, uh, Blackstone, and the notorious Goldman Sachs. And the moves they're making right now are telling us everything we need to know about the future of the U.S. economy. These companies control trillions of dollars, trillions with a T. BlackRock alone manages over $9 trillion in assets. What they're doing right now is both alarming and insightful. Um, especially if you're thinking about how to safeguard your wealth. BlackRock is buying distressed assets from banks, while Blackstone just raised the largest real estate fund in history. Listen to that. In history, over $60 billion of quote-unquote 
dry powder cash that they're getting ready to deploy. They are poised to swoop in and grab up real estate and other distressed assets, taking advantage of the turmoil in the financial markets. Similarly, Fortress and Goldman Sachs are buying up residential home loans, looking to capitalize on a uh, shaky economy, which the economy is very tremendously shaky. It has been for years now. Banks are retreating from real estate lending, and these financial giants are stepping in to fill the gap, which tells us how dire things have already become. Meanwhile, Fannie Mae is deploying trillions into the real estate and uh, into the residential real estate market. And if they, along with Freddie Mac, um, start injecting this money, it will create an unprecedented wave of lending that will temporarily, and I say temporarily, boost the market. And of course, there's a catch. These big players are positioning themselves to own a significant chunk of the U.S. housing market, uh, meaning that if someone falls behind on payments or the teams of their loan change, the, the, the terms of their loan change, these companies will seize properties. That's the whole point. The scary part is that private equity um, firms could end up controlling a massive share of the single family uh, rental market with estimates that institutional investors might own up to 40% of rental homes in the next five years. Uh, these are very accurate um, estimates because they've been saying this for some time. When the big players like BlackRock um, and Goldman Sachs start hoarding distressed assets and real estate, it's a major sign that the economy is heading into rough waters. This is exactly why silver is more important than ever as an investment. I'm not, I know I'm showing gold today, you know, I hardly ever show gold, but you know, silver is much more affordable, much more attainable. Um, these companies have vast resources to take advantage of, of a financial collapse. And that's what they're, 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 they're lurking because that's what's gonna happen. Um, but for regular investors like ourselves, silver is an ideal way to protect wealth when the dollar loses value. Um, when inflation spikes or the banking system uh, faces further instability. Right now, the smart money, all these billionaires, all these elite, uh, they're preparing for economic disruption. They're sitting on piles of cash and distressed assets, getting ready to buy when prices drop and prices are going to drop. Not, not in the silver market or in the gold market, but in the real estate world in the auto world, and I'm a, I'm a car dealer and I'm saying that. If you're not positioning yourself now, especially with tangible assets like silver, gold, um, you will find yourself on the wrong side of this massive wealth transfer. Um, ask yourself, if BlackRock is making these, move, these moves, should you be following their lead? Absolutely. But folks, thank you so much for joining us for another evening of Silver Dad Knows. God bless you. God bless your household, and as always, God bless America.